What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how a guy just doesn't, for the most part, he doesn't impulsively uh, break up with you. Okay, and if I look really tired, it's because I am. I haven't slept in, I, I didn't go, it's 8, it's 8 a.m. right now where I'm at. It's 8 in the morning. I have not slept yet uh, last night. Just been up doing things. Um, I'm not really, I look tired. I know I look like shit. I can feel it. My hair's nasty and flat and greasy. My eyes are red. I feel, I just feel nasty. But, I, you know, I, uh, I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all right right now. I'm not that tired, so I was like, let's make a video real fast so I can have one out. Uh, and I wanted to make this video, as you can see by the title, guys, you know, don't impulsively break up with you. I made this video uh, based on a lot of my clients lately. A lot of my clients had the same questions or situations where them and the guy broke up and they thought it was all of a sudden uh, impulsive. It was, it came out of nowhere. They wanted to know what the hell happened. And I want to tell you all first that Sometimes a guy does break up with you impulsively, but there's, I think there's reasons for it. Um, number one, I would say his, and you know, the intentions of a relationship weren't actually there, right? So maybe he didn't want a relationship. So again, if you see that, here it goes again. If you see that spike and then it goes like that, I would say he doesn't like you. And we'll get on to why I say that. If you see that spike and it goes down, that kind of looks like a Hershey kiss right there, right? Hershey kiss, look. Then I would say he doesn't like you, okay? He had never had the intentions to date anyway. And or the other reason I would say is that or another girl came into the picture, of course. Or I would say the other uh, thing is this, like I always talk about the serious vibe. You hear me talk about the serious vibe sometimes where it's going great, then it gets serious, and then it dives off. If that's the case, I still wouldn't argue impulsive breakup because it's not like you, I don't, I would say you did anything wrong. He's not yours to lose or to break up with, right? I would say he never fully committed, so I wouldn't count that as a breakup. A lot of women are talking or saying something to me, like all my clients were saying, well, we dated for three months, six months, stuff like that, and then you know, and we had a really great day, and then the next day he broke up with me. Why is that? And I'm going to go over a couple reasons why. First off, I want to say to the point, or on the point where women say, you know, we had a really great day, week. Uh, like yesterday, we were on a great day, and I thought everything was okay. He was telling me all these things, and then the next day we broke up. Why? What happened? There's, there's several reasons for that. Number one, I always say guys live in the moment. Right, like, why would he be a buzz, a, a you know, a buzz kill, a deadbeat, boring and stuff like that, when you're out having a good time? Like, if you go on a date or you're hanging out, like, make the most of uh, just how a lot of guys are. Now, I'm not saying there there aren't guys who are like. There's obviously times where you can tell something's wrong and you can tell it's leading towards a breakup, but at the same time, there are also guys who kind of hide it or mask it. And there's reasons they do this. I would say one of the top reasons is. He's giving it, you know, number one, I'll say he's giving it the last go, the last hurrah. He's trying to see if this is really what he's thinking uh, or really what he wants. So he goes out with you. He has fun. And uh, even though that's the case, it's, the attraction still, maybe he's not having fun. You know, maybe he's just hiding it. But the attraction is not there. He doesn't like you anymore. And he wants to break up. So even though you might have that fun hurrah, um, day with him, it looks great to you. But if he actually, if he's in the mindset of breaking up with you, he actually sees it as a contrast. Like, uh, you know, this is, we had a really fun time, but I'm, this is still how I feel. That me, that has to mean something. So I gotta break up with her. That's number one. Number two, again, he might be trying real hard, and he sees how fun and great you know you are or how happy of a time you had. And again, that could be a contrast. That can magnify the fact that he's like, wow, I, you know, I just, we had fun, that was awesome, but I don't feel the same and I can see how she looks. All I'm doing is leading her on and um, it's only gonna hurt her more. It's only gonna do more damage if I keep it going. So I gotta break up with her. And then that might be why he's, uh, he's you know, he's impulsively breaking up with you the next day, it comes out of nowhere. 
But I want to make the argument, it's not even an argument, I, I, I truly believe this, that uh, a guy, and I say that because I'm a guy, I, I study this stuff and I've done it before. A lot of the times, a guy, if he breaks up with you, it's not impulsively. It, you know, it, it might come out of nowhere because he's hiding it, but he's been thinking about it, I would say, for the last at least a month. Okay, and the analogy I like to use, and I use with my uh, my clients, was it's like quitting a job. A lot of the times, you won't just walk in and say, "I quit." Let's say, let's say you like your job, or you're having fun, or whatever. It's a great job, you know. You're getting paid good money, benefits. You're not just gonna walk in and say, "I quit. Screw this job." Just that's stupid. You you're losing more than you're gaining by doing that. Same with relationships. You know, um, if I mean, if you seriously, if he seriously did have a great time the day before. Or a great time up to this point. If, if again, we're, we're taking all the all the assumptions and bullshit out. If he truly, did, all, you know, all truths here. If he truly had that feeling, why would he break up with you? There's no reason. A lot of times, it's like a job. You know, you might dread the job. You, you still, I mean, you, and you all know how it feels. You go in, you still do the job, even though you're dreading. You're like, ugh, but you need the money. You're trapped sometimes. I'm not saying he's trapped in the relationship, but you know what I mean. Uh, you just go into the job, even though you dread it and it ruins your day thinking about it. And you're, again, you're just like, oh my God, I got to work in three hours. Or you didn't get no sleep last night, but you still got to wake up at 5 a.m. to go work. I mean, you're dreading it. And you're thinking about quitting for the last like two or three months. And let's say one day you're like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in and I'm going to quit. And to your boss, it might seem like you're, it's impulsive, like, oh, this came out of nowhere. You know, how, how, are you, how are you quitting? You're always on time. You always do your job. You're a good employee. Where's this coming from? And again, it might seem impulsive to your boss. But it's not impulsive to you. You've been thinking about it the last two or three months. You just had the balls to say it today, or you had enough. Uh, you know, enough. En enough is enough. So you're like, okay, I'm done. Guys truly do think the same way. So to wrap this all up, I would say a lot of the times a guy doesn't break break up with you impulsively. It's two things. One, he's been thinking about it for a while, uh, or two, and you know. He's been thinking about it for a while, and then he finally decides to say it. Or two, the reason he decides to say it, of course, is because a lot of women would say, well, I, no, that's not true. I had a lot of great times with this guy. We never argued. We never fought. We never did this. We never did that. Um, we had a great, the, the, you know, yesterday was a great day, so why did he break it with me today? And I'm just saying, that's that just proves my point even more. If you are having that great of a time, and he breaks up with you, then it's just... This, this go back to my previous point number one. He there's something there that he was not saying and he was not feeling uh, on telling you. And, and so while it seems impulsive to you, it's something he's been hiding or he's been thinking about for the last month or two. Okay. So when he does break up with you again, it's not impulsive. He feels like again the several reasons. One, I need to do this because I'm only leading her on. It's only going to make her miserable. Um, stuff like that. Or two, maybe he. Uh, he didn't have intentions on dating you in the first place. And that's a really important one. That is a very important one. Maybe he just, maybe he was talking to you for two or three months and things were going great. But maybe he just didn't have the intentions to date you in the first, like fully commit in the first place. Or three, like I said before, um, it got really serious and then he pulled away. But if that's the case, I wouldn't say he was he broke up with you or he pulled or it was impulsive. He never had it was never yours to lose or it, he never fully committed 100%. That's like if you and I had a contract and we're talking about the contract, but then when it's time for me to sit down and sign it, I'm like, nah, I can do that. I'm not in the contract. I mean that that's my right. So it might be like that. But for the most part, ladies, I'll say about eighty-five percent of the time, ninety percent. Um, and believe me, you're more probably the eighty-five, ninety percent. Don't think you're that special ten percent. Um, you're, you're not the exception to the rule a lot of the times. And I know because I was that guy. I've been there on both sides. It happened to me, and I've done it to people. Uh, again, it wasn't impulsive. It's something he's been thinking about. Again, it is, it is, I mean, it's all like a set path. I should want to write this down real fast. It's like a set path. Okay. If you have path one right here, path two, path three, right? Let's say this one is a relationship. He wants a relationship. Um, 
this one is he just wants to hook up and this one he wants to see where it goes okay they i mean they, whatever he says they all have a path i don't care how it goes they all have a path okay that they lead down to and they might all lead to the same thing but a different you know which is a relationship okay or or you guys getting closer or something like that but dependent on the path i mean what I'm trying to say is this all right here, all this right here in between, that's all basically our, it's like destiny. It's like it's all chosen by what he picks right here, okay? So if he says, I don't want her, or he says, I just want to see where it goes, then it can go anywhere, right? If he says, I like her, but I don't want to date her, then he can still go on this path on how things are going to go. But guess what? At the end, it's not going to happen because he just doesn't want a relationship, okay? So while it might seem like, th again, these all have paths and they're all going towards something. So even though they all seem great and that and that is going somewhere, two or the three times, not really. Actually, it's more like, not nine or ten times it's it's not really going somewhere it just has the illusion of it and i always tell women that's why a lot of the times you have to know where to find a guy you have to show your value your your attraction you have to build a again my value guide you got to build a strong foundation in the beginning because again attraction is not a choice okay attraction is not a choice if, if you attract a guy you attract a guy it's not like he can wake up and turn it on or off okay if you attract them you attract them the more you attract them the easier it is to get to there but a lot of the times again what i mean that's why it's all loopy here so i mean it's easier said than done my job with my videos my coaching sessions and my guide of course is to make it very easy for you i think it can be very easy but a lot of the times, like I said, we make mistakes, we get the wrong guys, pacing might be wrong, texting, red flags, the guy just might be an asshole, the guy might not want to, I mean, there's so many things to choose from, but for the most part, if he breaks it with you impulsively, it's not impulsively. He's been thinking about it from the get-go. So with that being said, ladies, I love you, take care, and peace.